On Saturday, producers from outside the 13-country group agreed to reduce output by 558,000 barrels per day, short of the initial target of 600,000, but still the largest contribution by non-OPEC ever. OPEC President and Qatar's Energy Minister Mohammed Al Sada said the agreement has stemmed from the sense of responsibility towards the balancing of the market, which will lead to positive results not only for the producers and exporters, but also to consumers. And in order to maintain a healthy economy, we all require the world. The non-OPEC countries participating today, uh, they committed to approximately uh, 560, to be exact, 558. A thousand barrel. In order to monitor the progress of the deal and to recommend the members the following actions to take, there will be a monitoring committee created which could consist of five countries, three coming from OPEC and two non-OPEC. We believe that today's agreement would speed up the rebalancing in the market, which is happening as we speak. It would help stabilize the oil market, reduce volatility and speculation, and improve the investment attractiveness of the oil industry globally. Last week, OPEC agreed to slash output by 1.2 million barrels per day from January 1st, with top exporter Saudi Arabia cutting as much as 486,000 barrels per day. Saudi Arabia's energy minister Khalid al-Fali said on Saturday that Riyadh may decide to cut even deeper. The agreed non-OPEC output reduction includes Russia's cut of 300,000 barrels per day. Oil prices have more than halved in the past two years after Saudi Arabia raised output steeply in an attempt to drive higher cost producers such as U.S. shale firms out of the market. The plunge in oil to below $50 per barrel and sometimes even below $30 from as high as $115 in mid-2014 has helped reduce growth in U.S. shale output. But it also hit the revenues of all dependent economies, including Saudi Arabia and Russia, prompting the two largest exporters of crude to start their first oil cooperation talks in 15 years. Apart from Russia, the talks on Saturday were attended by or had comments or commitments sent from non-OPEC members, Azerbaijan, Bahrain, Bolivia, Brunei, Equatorial Guinea, Kazakhstan, Malaysia, Mexico, Oman, Sudan and South Sudan. Lorraine Gabina, MTV World News.